राइट नाउ एंड अब अब आता है टाइम वेन वी विल बी टॉकिंग थ्रू आई कॉल हिम द गुरु ऑफ हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस is because uh, i mean he's a guru if when it comes to any question you have uh, related to health insurance your medicare your individual your uh, group insurance uh, you know it's like he has all those answers and uh, while growing up we've been taught that a guru is supposed to have all those answers and i am talking about mr lakwinton jenkins from simple choice insurance brokerage the ceo is right here today good, good, morning, morning, good, morning, good morning and good morning. happy new year let me refrain i don't know all the answers but i know where to find the ones i don't know <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're the guru i don't care if you go find them but for me you know all the answers <laughs> so how have you been hey we're feeling blessed uh we were in a unfortunate car accident on the 12th that thing is up pretty good. Oh, I'm so But, sorry uh, about that. You know, just thankful that we're okay. If I'd have been in my old the car I had before, I don't know how it turned out, but the fact that I had bought that uh the truck. Oh. Know, the truck made all the difference in the world. The big body truck, it made it all the difference in the world. So we're just grateful. We've been living in the space of gratefulness that you know, we're okay and that I'm thankful my daughter wasn't with me. But uh just just grateful. Just That's grateful. good. I'm 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 uh you know, It's good to hear that you you know you're giving such positive thoughts even after such a big incident so more power to you and we are so grateful that you are doing fine so thank you for uh you know to lord almighty yeah. and for taking care I actually feel bad for the accident because you know the last couple of years have been challenging for a lot of people in many different mm -hmm. ways many people not able to travel to India and other parts of the world to see their family and just we live in the US and i was in a state of mind that wasn't good i was like man i just be ready for this year to end and be yes. over with and i was literally thinking that and then after having an accident i realized you know how could i be so selfish what if those last two weeks had my number in it yeah every second someone loses a loved one yeah every second someone becomes disabled every second someone you know goes through some type of tragedy and how could i be so selfish to think you know just because you know the 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 few things that i've experienced i'm ready for the new year to be over so it it really took me to a great space for the new year i actually fasted for 3 days going into the new year oh, just to fun. be to just to be more grateful about all the things that we have in our and our, our health so beautiful thoughts yes and uh, again um you know we are so grateful that you are uh, doing fine and uh, more power to you and i always always admire when people you know take so much positive positivity out of a uh, incident like this so uh, more power to you mr lakwinton and to all those people you know he's been here before he's not someone unknown to namaste radio we want to first start with uh, thanking you for your support to namaste radio and yes and the namaste from his side if you're watching us on <laughs> facebook live but simple choice insurance brokerage has answers to all your health insurance needs and health insurance is something that we really 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 need in our lives so we've been talking a lot about different health insurance options he's uh, shared a lot with us but today we wanted to continue because i know the enrollment period the end of that is pretty close yes so let's start with um you know many people have chosen a plan for 2022 i mean right. we've chosen a plan too so what should we be doing next now okay so it's twofold so for the aca individual health care obamacare so to speak is ending on the 15th mm -hmm. after that you have to have a special enrollment period now for medicare is a little different um for medicare you have what's called starting on january 1st through medi to march 31st mm -hmm. you have what's called open enrollment period that means that everybody who has selected a medicare advantage plan or, or did not select a new medicare advantage plan mm -hmm. if you want to make one change between now and that time you have the bill and many people don't realize that uh the, the date got passed and they were sick they were traveling um they selected a plan or they answered the phone and this is the big one that really bothers me you know you see all those commercials on television yes and they're promising you to the world yes they're promising you to the world Well, really, just trying to get you to take, make a phone call, mm -hmm. and people unknowingly will say yes to some question, and they get switched into a plan that they really didn't, you know, the doctor's no longer in network, or mm -hmm. they lose benefits. So the government, you know, really about three or four years ago, 
created this period. So if anything, any shenanigans go on or if you just fail to make that change, you have one opportunity from January 1st to March 31st to make those adjustments. But what we did uh, in preparation for this, you know, when you're listening to someone, you're hearing it, right? Mm -hmm. So we actually created a, a checklist that explains exactly what you should be doing. We provide you with that to share with your right. with your listeners. Mm -hmm. So to take a couple of seconds, but this is invaluable. This is going to save you money. It's going to save you time. And it's going to, most importantly, make you feel prepared. This is something for you. It's something for you to share with family and, and friends. And, you know, when you say the word save money, what happens to our Indian ears? It Ooh, perks up. it perks up. <laughs> Asian ears, honestly. You know, that was... I, w I woke up in the middle of the night and I was actually thinking about every, you know, I've been fortunate to travel, you know, to many places in the, in the world and deal with all types of people. That's why, I, that's why I say I'm wealthy. I don't have millions and millions and millions of dollars in the bank, but I feel I'm very wealthy because of the diversity of friends I have. And Beautiful. I noticed that whenever I interact in business with, uh, I'm going to call it South Asians to make it really broad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to make it really broad. South Asian. They Asian. always ask for a discount. <laughs> Or something like that. But it's in our genes. It's in your genes. It's yes. in your DNA. Even if you give us something for free, they'll ask you, can I get two? Can you get two? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I actually had a guy call me and was complaining because he was paying 50 cents for his insurance, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to negotiating their salaries, <laughs> yes, yes. it's a little, a little different there. So I'm going to run through this. It's going to take a few minutes, but guys, sure. I promise you, this is invaluable information. It's something that you can save to your computers. It's something that you want to share with your family and friends. Um, and it's going to address it from both sides. It addresses it from the side of being on Medicare as well on ACA. Okay. So one of the first things you want to do, if you are not computer savvy, you want to find that grandkid or that 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 uh, that daughter, son, or whomever. Mommy, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> well, in your family, you're the one. So yeah. You want to create that online account. Mm -hmm. Okay, that gives you visibility to maybe the message you're not receiving. It gives you the ability to download your card. It gives you the ability to change your doctor. Mm -hmm. Making sure everything is aligned. Sure. It also is your centralized place to go if you should decide you want to change your doctor or change your specialist. Everything is there for you to to, to do the search to change that information. Mm -hmm. But creating an online account connects you and connects you directly to the the insurance company, and it provides you with access to all of your information. And I want to say yes, I did that mm -hmm. after uh, I signed up uh, yes. with you. I did that, and I had a different doctor. Right. And as soon as I was able to sign up, I was able to change my doctor. So See, it, it was amazing. The new <laughs> and I think this was last week or yes. or when is I came home and there were three cards from Community Health Choice. And by the way, Mr. Uh, Jenkins is the one who gave us the plan. He saved us money. Yes. And it's a decent amount of money, by yes, the way. Yes, a lot. He's saving us. So, And that includes that we have the doctor that we want. It's in network. And the hospital that we would prefer to go if something happens to us, that's in network as well. But having said that, our annual out-of-pocket is much lower than what uh, it was with the previous insurance. And the premium was probably 30 40% more we were paying. So, Yep. Yeah, and, uh, and that's something you look at every year. I mean... Things change, you yeah. know. I always reference our body, you know. Our bodies change from one year yes. to the next. Yes. And I was joking with a young lady, and she said, I only gained one pound last year. So you know what? That is awesome. But if you gain one pound one year for 30 years, this that's, a, that's, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of fun. Okay, I, I gained a lot of weight in 2020. So, yeah, let's not get about weight now. So the, Going back to the original thing, the reason I mentioned that was uh, because I came home and I saw three ID cards. Uh -huh. Uh, two were on her name. One was there was two different doctors on, and my was the one that I don't prefer to go to my PCP. <laughs> so I asked her. I said, "Where's mine?" She's like, "Well, I ordered yours later." So, so I do all the technical stuff. I made his account, changed the doctor, did everything for him, and now he got the the new IDs with the correct doctor. So exactly. we're so happy. So that's a great segue on the checklist. That's the second thing on the checklist. Verify the physician, select his correct physician, and they are in that work. And that's that's both. That's two things. Okay, that's your primary care physician, mm -hmm. and that's your uh, specialist. Right. They're they're very different. Okay. And also for some, uh, the gentleman I was working with out of Victoria last 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 night, um, if you have children on your policy, mm -hmm. so you want to make sure the pediatrician is, which goes right into the next thing in the checklist, save the doctor's phone number in your cell phone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, unfortunately, uh, this week I experienced, you know, actually your, your dad was giving me a call, but I was, you know, caught up with a client. So we do what we call as a, a wellness check. Mm -hmm. Anytime we engage with someone in a enrollment process, we make notes. And if there seem to be a lot of medical issues, it's not within our what we're supposed to do. It's just a value add of being a part of the Super Choice insurance family. 
and she was referred to me by an existing client. Long story short, she didn't sound good on the phone. Oh. She just didn't. She said, I was up all night long, you know, my blood pressure is way up there. She lives alone, doesn't have transportation. It just, I said, okay, and I hung up the phone. I got, you know, I just wouldn't let it go. Mm -hmm. So I, this is one of the things that, this is why you want to stay engaged with your insurance agent. Um, the extended, I call extended family member. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you should have his number also on your speed dial. Ex exactly. Mr. Jenkins. So what I did is um, I couldn't let it go. So I called the insurance company. And mm -hmm. I will say it's one of my favorites. You know, your, your mother has the same plan. I called them and said, look, I just talked to this client. It doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm. And many people know you can do this. As your broker, I can do this. I said, look, I need uh, triage done with my client. I, I don't like the way it sounds. She sounds on the phone. Mm -hmm. So I was able to get a nurse to call her. Didn't get off the phone to her until the ambulance got there because he said when she got to the emergency room, she had four canisters of fluid taken out of her lungs. Oh, my God. This last night? This was uh, Wednesday. Not, this was Wednesday. Oh, wow. Four canisters. So if, if I was not checking in on those clients. Right. She hadn't slept in two days. Oh. And the the actually the nurse and the insurance come to call me back and said thank you. Yeah. Because if she'd have stayed in the state situation she went, you may not be talking it within the next couple of days it would have been over. Because oh, she has mm -hmm. AFib and all that fluid was building up on her and I was sensitive to I knew that mm -hmm. because that's when my grandmother passed away of the fluid the building right. of fluid. So and I'm I'm actually glad you mentioned that because I think uh just our, you know, our South Asians people, we, we like to procrastinate when it comes to health. Like, you know, mm -hmm. even if you're not feeling too well, we'd be like, we don't want to go to the doctor. We don't want to do this. So that is a steel. great thing if, Ms. He, you know, Simple Choice Insurance Brokerage is checking on you and you have your insurance. So always go out there. Take care of your health. Yeah, and I actually tell people, you know, if you're very healthy, I'm probably not going to tell you to save myself, yes. <laughs> save myself on the ring your phone. <laughs> but if you are, if you do have health issues, I always tell those clients to save my my personal cell phone number in their phone because if there are issues, and if it happens at night or on the weekend, you're not going to get the insurance company. Yeah. And, and in those situations, they're on medication, not thinking clearly. So it gives me the opportunity to to serve. I so, know for sure. Uh, my uh, you're on number one dial on my mom's phone for sure. <laughs> <laughs> not even my dad, but. Definitely, every, you are there. Every time I see her, I can't do anything but smile. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I look at her, I just start smiling. Next thing is, uh, this is very important. Contact your physician mm -hmm. and let them know that your insurance plan has changed. Go ahead and get all the information updated in the system. Mm -hmm. Give me your ID number. Um, verify it's still in that work right. if your plan did not change. Because you can have a plan and the next year, that doctor may or may not be in that in same that plan, plan. Sure. even if you don't, don't change. Mm -hmm. So make sure they have all that updated information, then schedule your first appointment. Right. Now, I, I encourage people to to do their enrollment process the first part of uh, October, first part of uh, November, but we are past that point because that first quarter really stacks up heavily with the with the appointments. Mm -hmm. So you know, do all that you can to get it in that first quarter, Good. but do it, go ahead and get it out of the way. And this is the reason why. This is a nugget that's a little bit further down. So the reason you want to do that is that when you transition to a new physician or a new plan, you want to kind of structure it so if any way possible that your refills at the end of the year come in November or December. Mm -hmm. Why? You're traveling. you got transition mm -hmm. if, you, if you may change plans. So if you have a 90-day uh, supply that you're getting and you are able to do that in November or December right. for that supply, right. then it's going to carry you the first couple of months because it's not easy. Even with the client I work with, it actually ended up being two or three that was in a similar situation, mm -hmm. not as drastic. But I had to call in favors to get them into their doctor because the doctors were booked up until like in the February 1st of March. Oh. Everybody so wants to do their physical? Everybody wants to get their physical out the way for the first year or they their cycle was like September uh, or October on their refills. Mm -hmm. So now they're running out of medication. Yeah, medication. Yeah. I see. So if you're in that situation, you are able to, if you have a relationship with your physician, um, you know, ask them for samples. Mm -hmm. Always. I think every time you go, you know, make yeah. it automatic. Oh, she's going to ask me for samples. You're right. I'm <laughs> ask you for, That's a good one. Actually. Yeah. Ask for samples because, you, yeah, samples. you know, it's, 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 it's a cost saving. Yeah. Uh, next thing is, you know, understanding in your plan, um, your co-pays, and deductibles as it relates to going to the doctor. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know, we don't want we, many of us. I think women love surprises if they're flowers and gifts. Oh yeah. Men, we don't like surprises if they're, you know, bills. <laughs> bills. <laughs> But you, you know, I want to uh, mention this. It's just probably I am OCD. So when I got the plan, I went ahead and made an Excel sheet out of it, understanding, mm-hmm. writing, mm-hmm. Uh, you know, PCP deductible, specialist mm-hmm. deductible, urgent care. I actually put that all together so that Great. and I, we have it on our drive. So when both of us, if, if I am Absolutely. not uh, available, he has all the information. So that that's just how I am. And so you're preparing to go into Medicare. <laughs> four yeah, years yeah. early, four years early. Oh, uh, no, you're faster. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, I'm though. I'm trying to be nice. See there? <laughs> See, I was trying to pay her a compliment like she was 25, so she still had 40 years ago. Yes, but. I am 25. I like that. You made my Saturday. <laughs> Absolutely. But understanding that because, you know, f- for many of you listening on the radio, is you know, paying an um, unexpected 30 or 40 or 25 dollars is not big of that deal yes we don't want to do it mm-hmm. but for some people they don't have that extra resource right so there are literally people that are out there that we have to be sensitive to that if it costs 25 30 dollars to go to the doctor they don't have it yeah so they don't go so understanding that dynamics even when i'm working with a client and they, they they want the best of the best you know i ask them about their budget and their extra you know disposal income mm-hmm. so that if something comes up you can boom you can go make that payment, payment. for that if not i'm going to put you on something different to make sure you can get your basic care as as needed which segues into the most important part of uh, a health insurance plan mm-hmm. that's your next to hospitalization is your medication right so make sure you understand the cost of your medication you know we have these if you need one of those we can send it out to you um we just got several hundred of the good rx cards and believe it or not, on the good RX, there's a few others out there. When it comes to your medication, it's not uncommon for the good RX to be at a lower cost. And this is something I learned, as uh, we'll, we'll mention later on in the show, is that the cost to a physician for the medication is much different than the cost it is to you. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like being, for those, I'm sure many uh, in the Asian, uh, South Asian market know what wholesale is, right? Mm-hmm. It, it's a, it, the wholesale. So they actually get a wholesale cost, so it's significantly less. So one of the things that some of the discount um, companies are doing, they're reducing some of that, that I don't want to call it waste, some of that profit margin. I see. And now you're able to get those medications either free or at a much reduced cost. So I think everybody should have a a good RX or some type of discount card and then compare those medication. The kicker in this is that, you know, every year there's new plans introduced in the marketplace Mm -hmm. and they are incredibly cheap. A lot of them are zero or less than $10, $20. Yes. But you have to read the fine print, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the things they don't see in those plans sometimes is that your deductible is a part of your medications are a part of deductible, which means that whether it be your blood work or your medications or a CAT scan, MRI, X-rays, you got to pay for those things out of pocket. Out of pocket. Till, right. till you get meet your deductible. Meet your deductible. Uh-huh. So now that zero dollar plan now costs you six thousand dollars because you got to pay six thousand dollars before you meet that deductible, deductible for the plan. So yeah. be conscious, understand mm-hmm. that if I need my medication, how much is going to cost? Cost. Now, fortunately, if you're on Medicare, you don't have that those type of deductibles. Mm-hmm. But on a, a group plan or an ACA plan, you very well could have that situation. So you know, a lot of your Medicare plans. They will have like a four hundred and thirty dollar deductible or something like that associated with it. But understanding what are the costs for me to get my medication, and keeping up with where you are in that cycle. Um, the next thing is the urgent care. Mm-hmm. This causes me pain every, and it's always my fault. You know, I think that's part of being a male that I understand that when you're in a relationship, it's always your fault. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong, but it's always your fault. But and, you <laughs> why are you looking to see? <laughs> He, you know, it's kind of funny. He just got it. He say nothing. <laughs> say, I have to go home with. I have to go home with. <laughs> Sushil is very good with selective hearing. He's like, I, I, I didn't listen to that. So, 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 so you know, whenever you talk about money, normally when you talk about money, is it it's savings, number one, or making money? My ears go up automatically, and and all the possible sources of hearing, from wherever it is, it opens up, right? It opens up. It opens up. But whenever you talk about some other stuff, no, everything just shuts down. It just shuts down. Oh, yo, I had a, someone told me once, it's not that it's too expensive, it's that you're not resourceful enough. Right. 
Right. I don't know if I buy into that, but. <laughs> well, in a way, in a way, it's true. Uh, the resources in the bank are probably less. <laughs> but, uh, but yes. Find a way. Find a way. Yeah. So when I get to urgent care, because we want to kind of stay away from the emergency room. The emergency room is more expensive for everyone. But if you need right. to go, don't hesitate to go. Mm -hmm. And if you are in an HMO plan and you're out of network, you must go to the emergency room. Okay. So that's a segue to keep in mind, too. If you have an HMO plan, now, when you're out of network, say you have a plan that's, you know, regionalized here in, in, in Houston, right. and say you're in Dallas, mm -hmm. and you break your arm, okay, mm -hmm. you, you go into the emergency room. Mm -hmm. So those emergencies are, are, are covered in those situations. So but they kind of become in network, is it? Yes. Okay. And even on the, the same thing with the Medicare plans. Mm -hmm. On your Medicare plans, you're in, in part of a network, but if you outside of that network, you have an emergency, you go to the to the emergency room, they take care of you. It's not a, it's not an issue. Then they work on getting you back to you know once stabilized, getting you back into uh, in network. Right. So, so so that's one piece of information that we had no idea about, and Mr. Jenkins told us yeah. uh, that if you have a life threatening emergency, like he mentioned, a broken arm, and if you go to an emergency room which is non network, it automatically be becomes in network because you have a life threatening emergency. So guys, exactly. That's why it's very important to have Mr. Mr. Jenkins in your life because he has a wealth of knowledge on things yeah. that we don't know. And even with the uh, the urgent care, so. Please, in your plan, determine which urgent care facilities that are in your area. Yeah. Go ahead and put that in your phone. So inevitably, inevitably something is going to happen. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to figure it out and go to the wrong place, something that's out of network, mm -hmm. that there's something that was in network was a mile away. Yeah. Because a lot of times in those situations, you're looking at about a $1,600 bill. Mm -hmm. I actually went last week, I went to and just, you know, always trying to learn more about the differences and, and what the costs are. Um, I was told about emergency care, it's not unheard of. You literally could be in an emergency care, um, the freestanding building. Mm -hmm. You literally can be there all night long and it costs you $20,000. Oh, wow. That's a lot wow. of money. That's almost as much as your, your wedding ring. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, it's, it's, <laughs> Hypothetically speaking. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it can be very expensive. So, yes. you know, and all this is preventative, guys. This is make, there isn't a bad, insurance plan if you understand how it works and you prepare for it at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. So putting that in your phone, knowing where I can go as an urgent care facility. So if I'm not, I wake up and just not feeling good, you know what? I can go to urgent care and I can pay a copay yeah. of $10 or nothing because some of the plans are nothing or $20, 30 $40. Mm -hmm. You can do that in somewhere close by. Do the same thing with the hospital. Just just verifying that the your hospital of choice, which should have been done on the front end, but I know I'm, I'm I'm speaking with people. I've trained thousands, literally thousands of agents. I've worked with city governments in, in, on these, these types of plans and programs. Mm -hmm. And I know that the average person you talk to that enrolls you in your plan are not going to go through this process with you. Right. They're right. not going to discuss these things. But just that, doing that, taking this document and just every year going through it, getting those things in line, it makes for a much better, exp um, much better experience. The next thing is being clear about if you're on a PPO, EPO, or HMO. In every conversation I have, I'm always going to bring those things up. Right. Because they're, they seem to be the most, it's a common term in the, in the industry, but it's the most confusing. And I have the issue again and again and again. So the thing I'm going to bring out to you is the, is the, um, the HMO. If with an HMO, keep it in mind, before you receive any type of care, except for going to the emergency room, mm -hmm. you must see your PCP first. To get basically getting a permission to go to the referral. specialist exactly. referral, yeah, exactly mm -hmm. because the referral to the specialist is different. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. yes. You no, know, that that specialist, whether it be endocrinologist, uh, uh, cardiologist, you know, whatever rheumatologist, whatever it may be, liver specialist, <laughs> nephrologist, no matter what, yeah. no matter what it is, they yeah. specialize on that. Your PCP is looking at your overall general health. Yeah, and they're sort of like the collector of data. Right. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you're, you're you're dealing with someone in network that information can be shared easily. Mm -hmm. They can you know they're not starting from scratch, so they want to make sure it's correctly assessed correctly. Then they refer to you someone that's in network. So make sure. So for example, if you needed physical therapy, had a um, a young client do this last week. He went on the plan and day four he was getting ready to get surgery. I'm like, but when did you see your PCP? Mm -hmm. He said, What do you mean? Oh. So he has scheduled the surgery, getting ready to pay out of pocket three over three grand. I'm like, mm, there's an opportunity to do things differently. <laughs> <laughs> Go see your PCP. Maybe you, you pay like maybe 500. Yeah. And I asked him, well, how much would your doctor visit to your specialist? He said $250. I 
I'm like, it was supposed to be $5. Yeah, <laughs> wow. What a difference. But yeah. you know what? Also, you know, I have clients here all the time. Shame on that on that physician's office. Yes, yeah. Because mm -hmm. they should, they know, yeah. they know. They should say you need pre-authorization for this. Any surgery that you have, whether it's a P, whether PPO, HMO, or I don't know, <laughs> you, you must have your PCP involved in that process. And they understand there's a sharing of data. There's, it's just a natural Not workflow sure. of how things are supposed to, to work. And the last two things is blood work. Mm -hmm. Making sure that if you don't have a complete doctor visit if you don't get blood work done. Sure. That's you know that's how you determine you know right. it's, it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna pull your tooth but I'm not gonna do an X-ray. X-ray. Yeah, that's 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 exactly what it is. No, it's very important. I think every year to get that blood work done is really really important because you can catch a lot of things in in your blood work. Yeah. So all these things I mentioned, it should be your checklist of what you're asking that insurance agent that you work for. You know, you know, people say, well, why you share this information? Well. I'm a I'm more of a healthcare advocate. Mm -hmm. I just want everybody to be better because directly or indirectly, it all costs us money through taxes. Right. Because there's a population that we pay for their health insurance through the called indigenous care programs. Yes. Okay. And Houston has one of the largest indigenous care, care programs in the country. So our a part of our tax dollars, along with other things, go to provide those 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 services mm -hmm. in the India House. And you know, a lot of the physicians, um, you know, they volunteer time. Yes. To right. to do that. So. It is a cost. So making sure that that blood work, you understand the cost. Is it free or is there a copay associated with that? And the last one, the last two things, number one, if you're on Medicare, check in to see if that plan has transportation. Oh, okay. So they pick you to the mm -hmm. uh, hospital or doctor. And you'd be surprised how many people that are on Medicare. Uh, I mean, you know, in my, I dealt with this with my father because he's, he's losing his hearing and he's, he, uh, you know, when I was at home, I said, I call my father Pop. I said, Pop, that's not what they said. He said, well, it's what they should have said. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, a lot of our parents are very prideful. You know, they've done well in life and they're yeah. very prideful. But there is going to come a time that sometimes Pop doesn't need to drive. My father's not there yet. Or that individual now, her husband has passed on. Or the husband is at work and busy. But knowing that they have that transportation. Yeah. So many of your, almost all of your HMO plans and almost none of your PPO plans have transportation. transportation and if you're on a medicare supplement it does not have transportation included in those in those, those plans you know a joke on that my mom had to go see a doctor on monday mm -hmm. she'd got an appointment mm -hmm. and uh, she drives but she is not very comfortable <laughs> with using a gps or she's not very comfortable with getting to the doctor so you know what she made my dad do she made, her. <laughs> no, she made him. She made him take her there on a Sunday. She memorized the route, and um, I guess she bought him some lunch uh, for wisdom, that. Yes. And then after that, she went there on Monday. So, mom, this is for you. They provide transportation. Call Mr. Jenkins again. Bother him more. <laughs> Why don't you just take a song break and come back? Yeah, and uh, the last point I think you had, and then we'll come uh, take a song break. Yeah, uh, dental. Mm -hmm. You know, your dental and vision, um, that's kind of the pathway to what's going on inside your business. A, a dentist can look at your teeth and tell other things are going on. Right. And an and a optometrist can definitely look at your eyes right. and tell what's going on in your body. So making sure that, you know, a lot of times you just get the health side of things. Dental and vision is not considered to be a part of traditional health care. They mm -hmm. are supplemental, supplemental things. Oh, but they are crucial, crucial. I, I'm sure if you mess yourself in uh, you know, if he was missing a couple of teeth up here, the relationship might have gone in a different direction, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, so, important to lose teeth. <laughs> so, important. It is important to go get uh, see them and dental vision. Some great, great insights on uh, health insurance. And if you have gotten that uh, insurance plan, uh, you know, HMO, PPO, Medicare, those are some great points to look at today and follow. Uh, quickly, we, uh, we'll, we are going to take a song break. We are in conversation with Mr. LaQuinton Jenkins, uh, the CEO of Simple Choice Insurance Brokerage. A lot more information coming on Namaste Radio just for you. So stay tuned till we take this song break. <laughs> Mundo é curioso, 
ਭੰਗੜਾ ਪਾਉਣ ਨੂੰ ਤਿਆਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਓ Yes guys uh, so uh, wealth of information uh, is uh, right now being poured on Namaste Radio because we have none other than Mr Jenkins over here with us from Simple Choice who is an agent uh, with uh, multiple insurance companies in the nation what i would say not only in the history area itself and of course uh, he if you are looking for one of the best insurance plans if he's one of the best agents that i know that who would really understand insurance and um, he will basically ask you some set of questions that he has he'll understand what your needs are and then he'll advise you what is the best plan suited for you while saving you money at the same time so in conversation with mr jenkins uh I have actually a two questions I want to mix into one. Uh first thing is I know we we you touched a little bit on this one but what if somebody uh you know he uh, somebody chooses a Medicare Advantage plan and if they don't like it then what can they do about it and uh, what about a person who still has not chosen an individual health plan how much time do they have left? Okay. So I take the second one first. Um if they have not chosen an individual health plan yet you have one week from the day. Oh wow. <laughs> So, so when is the deadline? 15th. January 15th, January 15th. Is, a, is a cutoff for that. Uh, you know, you have other opportunities throughout the year, which we call special enrollment periods, meaning that you lose your job, uh, you lose coverage with there, you, you move. Mm-hmm. All those that mean is have a baby, get married. I mean, there's about 15, 20 things that can happen to give you. But as far as the traditional normal enrollment, the 15th is the end for that. And the policy will go into effect on, Janu- on uh, February the 1st. Okay. And to the second part of the question, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan and you don't like it um, or you, you know, not being clear on what you selected in the fall is don't feel bad about that. I've trained agents now for over 10 years and n- n- half the agents don't know what they sold you. But <laughs> <laughs> Just being honest, it takes a while. It takes a while. But if you're uncomfortable, if you felt pressured about that, that change, or if you, you know, find out your doctor is not in network or you have less benefits, um, you have, again, until March 31st. March 31st is the deadline. March 31st. So three months. So three months to make that change. You can reach out to my, your existing agent or to myself. Make sure they do that comparison. Okay. Don't listen to them, you know, even if you're doing things over the phone. With every single client, I do, I put in their medication, um, their zip code, and I make sure I go through the process of doing a comparison. And I narrow it down to three plans, and I go line by line for those key indicators. I mean, before we talked about those, t- those 10 key indicators we look at, but I make sure that they're getting the best bang for their buck based upon their scenario. And normally the driver is gonna be the medication um, and then follow up with the doctor. Um, in my opinion, a doctor should not be the first thing. It should be your, getting your medications covered. But the bottom line is get that comparison done let them show you at the bottom of the comparison mm-hmm. it tells you what your medication cost is going to be mm-hmm. it also in the plan shows you side by side what will your total out-of-pocket be for each plan mm-hmm. and then 
Don't let someone tell you which plan to choose. You narrow it down and you choose based upon what your needs are. Yes, so you, March 31st. You know, uh, uh, that's why it's very important to have uh, somebody who's knowledgeable about health insurance plans because a lot of people don't read the fine prints like you mentioned. Most people Which don't. is at the bottom. <laughs> it's not easy to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's painful. So we are in conversation with Mr. Laquintan Jenkins, the CEO of Simple Choice Insurance uh, Brokerage, talking about a lot of uh, uh, do's uh, for health insurance. It could be... Uh, your ACA, your individual group plans, it could be PPO, HMO, uh, out of that, Medicare. And at this point, if you have, uh, he's going to be with us for the next 15 minutes. If you have any questions for him, uh, is it okay if they call you and ask you a question right away? Sure, it's fine. So you can call us in studio at 713-974-4000. He, like I say, the guru of health insurance is right here. Uh, you can all you have to do is just call and ask those questions. Seven one three nine seven four four thousand. Till we get those calls, if Houston is awake and uh, going to call you, because you know they always or shy the away from. Yes. 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 But before that, I want to ask you, all these uh, uh, plans and all of that, you know, are there options for uh, undocumented or people with uh, no social? Very important. Yeah. So there, there are a few options that are available. Uh, it's on a case-by-case -case scenario. Mm -hmm. But actually what we are doing, and we've been meeting with physicians, we're actually building a network, uh, building a network of physicians uh, that will accept, do two things. One cash pay they, they exist mm -hmm. but our, the, the issue I have with just your basic cash pay um, facility is that they get your money give you your pills and you leave mm -hmm. the blood work has to be there yeah I mean no no offense if there's anyone listening who has a cash pay business in it I apologize something is better than nothing <laughs> <laughs> but to a true evaluation has to include the blood work yes to understand the dynamics of what's going on so we're looking we're we're putting together a, a plan that does Two things is primary care direct. Mm -hmm. So for those who either one um, don't have the document documentation to or don't qualify for ACA because they don't make enough or whatever the scenario may be or if it's too expensive, there where you uh, have a doctor that you can go see. And uh, we we have we're building the list. We actually getting ready to start sending out uh, building a petition in order to to kick it off. We're going to have to have at least a thousand people that are open to a cash pay model. Mm -hmm. The second part of the first part is you just go there, you pay cash. Okay. But we are requiring our physician to facilitate it with us is that we have a discounted, a severely discounted um, blood panel. Oh. So making sure they can get blood work for those key things such as, you know, whether it be related to thyroid, blood pressure, high blood pressure, diabetes. For man, PSA is a really big thing for us as you age with the PSA. Um, so some key things that we're going, we're going to check for and have a, a flat price for that. And the second piece to it is having a membership. Mm -hmm. Doctors, you know, I was d disturbed to know that many doctors, they don't make a whole lot when you go to the physician. I, I always thought doctors just made gazillion. Their overhead is so high. And what we're trying to move away from in this model is that making sure the doctor can earn enough so they can spend the time. I don't know about you, but I've gone to the doctor and I was in there five minutes. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. I was going to see a doctor. The doctor actually... Oh, the, actually, you know what? This happened. I've waited, there, I've waited there for two hours for the doctor to see me, but the doctor comes in five, seven, eight minutes and he's... So, ask yourself. Hit us up on the, um, Facebook. How many of you go to the doctor and most of the time you're you're there that you actually only see the doctor for three to five minutes? Yeah. It was happening with me. If, if, and thank if, you very much. If, not paying you any attention. Make a couple of notes. Yeah. And, and leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it has so, happened. Yeah. So in these situations, we we'll make we're making requirements of the amount of time, thirty minute blocks. Oh, okay. For each patient, mm -hmm. so, and you want to, and you're going to see the doctor, or whomever is on that list, you're going to see that that person. Yeah. So we have some what's called hospital plans as well, mm -hmm. uh, hospital indemnity plans, and they don't necessarily require the um, require that either. So yes, there are some things available. Please you know, reach out to us. We'll get an understanding of your situation, let you know your options. It's for those people who don't have documentation, those people don't qualify for ACA, or those people whose insurance is just too expensive and they can't afford it. They, they need another option. Okay, wonderful. Um, so now, before we, you know, uh, Sushil, you have a last question right there for Mr. Jenkins to ask. 
Right. Um, so, um, first things I want to integrate on the, on the last comment. It's very important to get health insurance in this country because, as we know, if something happens to you, you go in the hospitals, you will be you will be Treated surprised. You treat it differently. Just being yes. honest, you treat it differently if you don't have health insurance. Absolutely, and 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 you will spend literally all your life paying back the system. Um, yes. The, the amount of money that they they'll actually charge you. So, guys, better documented or undocumented, especially if you're undocumented. Make sure you do get health insurance. Uh, the last question that I have on my list is, uh, Mr. Jenkins, is is what are some of the key aspects or key parts of a basic plan? Uh, if you can go and integrate that one more time. Okay. And I, I put that question, we, we talked about that question to be last because really it's a review. Yeah. It's a review of, of what we've already talked about. Okay. So we'll do this very quickly. We're going to put me on a timer for a minute and a half. We're going to try to do it in one minute. <laughs> and your time starts now. <laughs> time starts now. Number one, make sure your doctor is in that work. If you get a card, that card does not have your doctor on it that you mm -hmm. chose, make sure you call and get it changed. You can change your doctor once a month. Okay. okay. Oh. If you have not seen that doctor within that month, you can go see a new doctor in that same month. Okay. Particularly if you're, on, if you're on Medicare, I literally had one change of the day. I called. By the end of the day, the doctor was changed, and the person went to see the doctor the next day. Oh, okay. Number two, if you have seen that doctor within that month and you want to change, you can change it, but it won't go into effect the, the next month. The next so month. So make sure that your doctors are in, in, in that work. Okay. Number two, making sure you understand if you have an HMO, PPO, EPO. Mm -hmm. PPOs do not exist in the individual health market. They only exist within Medicare and within group plans. Group plans. Group, yeah. You have some... Um, some MediShare type why, plans. You know, why? I mean, it, controlling costs. Uh, controlling costs. Okay. Controlling because costs. Because I know before, before Marketplace was there, we used to be able to buy individual PPO plans. Yeah, but you, they you just know, disappeared. Is they're trying to manage the care of making sure all the information. So if you're going to any doctor that's charging you any type of amount, and I'm sure that everybody out there has this experience where they've gone to the doctor with the expectation of one type of cost, and the doctor say, "Oh, it's covered by your insurance," and then you get a big bill. Mm -hmm. They're just trying to manage all that things. I mean, yeah. there's some good to it. Then there's some opportunities to improve upon it. So understand if you're in an HMO, EPO, PPO. PPO is mostly in your, you have in your, your commercial insurance plans. EPO is your best option for a um, if you want that type of flexibility within a um, individual plan in the marketplace. In HMO, all these plans are great, guys. They're great. Just understand what you have and how to use them. Uh, number two, understand the cost of your medication making sure that your medication uh, is on a copay versus being part of your deductible. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the blood work. Ask every single time, is my blood work uh, required uh, part of the deductible? So what I mean by that is that you want your deductible, you, you want your copay to be independent. And that's what, by definition, that's what it is. Right. You want to have a copay for your doctor visit, a copay for your uh, blood work, a copay for your uh, urgent care. Mm -hmm. Now understanding when you get into hospitalization, you're gonna have co-insurances. There are many different ways. Co-insurance means you're paying a percentage. Mm -hmm. Co-pay means you're paying a flat dollar, dollar amount. amount. Co-pay, flat dollar amount. That's the magical word you wanna hear is co-pay. Because co copay does not require you to pay uh, your deductible before you get that service. Co-insurance, you're paying a percentage of until you reach your maximum amount of, out, of out of pocket. Okay. And you know, just getting all those things in your phone. All the numbers and one again, one very important point is to once you have your plan and you have that PCP, please update your health insurance with them. Don't just get an appointment, get there and be like, oh, Absolutely. my old insurance is with you now. And even update your insurance on your pharmacy, right? Whatever update. is your preferred pharmacy. Exactly. And understand that you and that so many things. The, um, <laughs> I actually got a call from Chattanooga last week and the lady was stressing out. Well, how am I get a medication? My pharmacy changed. Just call them. Yeah. They have a rule. They have to do it within 24 hours. I called the pharmacy and, and asked them. They say it must be done within 24 hours. Most of the time it's done within two or three yeah. hours. So just call the pharmacy and say, hey, I need my, my, prescript, my scripts transferred to this pharmacy. They're required by law. And you so. know, uh, these days, because I personally use Walgreens, mm -hmm. it's so easy with the app. All you have to do is just scan your card. You don't call, you don't need to call anybody. You need to go anywhere. All you have to do is just scan your card on that app, and your boom, your uh, insurance gets updated on your pharmacy. This is, is that easy? This is shout everybody that's on Medicare. I encourage you. I encourage you. I encourage you to get your 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 children or your grandchildren involved with the computer aspects of it because mm -hmm. this is going to make it so much so much easier um, from the beginning to end to make sure everything is up to date. So I encourage everybody, your, your, one of your children or 
family friend, someone other than you needs to know where all your documents are for everything. We're talking about health insurance, but the reality is everything, everything. everything. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times people get sick, get in an accident, or pass away. You know, everything that bad happens in life only happens to the other person, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we all got to go with something, right? So please, I encourage you, because that if you're on Medicare, they should build your profile out in Medicare. They should build your profile out, all your information there, your card, your medications. Mm -hmm. Every time when you have your profile built out in Medicare um, and you share that with your, your children, they don't have to ask. They can go look in and they see all your medications. All your all medications is right there. there. That list is important because when you go see a new doctor, the first thing you're going to ask for is a list of your medications. medications yeah. My clients, I just go there, I print it out, I email it to them, and they mm -hmm. take it with them to the doctor. If they don't have email, I literally text it to them. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they got something called snail mail. <laughs> I painfully do that, but, you know. We, yes. have, we have to meet people where they are. But I encourage you again, get your children involved in a techno technology piece mm -hmm. because it's only going to get worse. Yeah, yeah. Wow, a lot of information, a lot of uh, wealth that we earned today about health insurance. Thank you so much, Mr. LaQuinton Jenkins. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I think I can officially after this show give a big webinar or a seminar. I think too. you can. She's pretty thorough, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. She, I tell you what. I had we gonna, the next time I want to do we come I want to talk about dental in detail. Yes. And I'm going. I want to interview Cecile. <laughs> so she was getting interviewed on his dental. Because that dentist. guy right there, he knows. He, 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 he keeps raving about his ten plus fifteen years of dentistry. Now let's 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 take. Uh, gonna, let's interrogate him. <laughs> we're gonna ask. We're gonna we're gonna ask him questions. He he's gonna give you the details, and I let you know what plans that will work so, for. Oh, but oh, he's oh, he's great. Oh, he's oh, really so great. I'll, I'll say that at this point of time, like Mr. Jenkins mentioned, that that uh, you know uh, the main main part of healthcare integral is your is your medical plan, but. There are supplements available, which everybody should get. You said dental and you said vision because they are part of your health care. The reason we say dental, everything goes through the oral cavity. That's what we say, which mm -hmm. is your mouth. Everything starts from there. And eyes, of course, eyes are your gateway to your soul. That's one thing they Absolutely. say. Absolutely. Gateway your soul into your health. A exactly. So very important, guys, because there are sometimes medical plans which don't cover dental unless it's, it's, a, it's a medical emergency only. So make yep. sure you have, do you have supplements. If you don't. Call Mr. Jenkins and he can help you with get those getting those supplement plans as well. And one thing that's great about the vision piece, I, I, I strongly, 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 strongly encourage everybody to have an independent uh, dental plan unless you have a, a plan within Medicare like your devoted health mm -hmm. that includes a strong dental plan within it. But the vision is, one thing that's great about vision is that I actually don't have a vision plan. I wear glasses because you literally can go to places and they get a better discount. You can get your, uh, your glasses, your exams, everything. You know, at a you know very fair price. Mm -hmm. So I stopped personally buying Vision about five years ago. Um, but dental, you know, you just gotta have it. Have it, absolutely. Have it. Dental, I, I say no doubt about it, is because you think you might not need it, but when it's when it's time for you to get those those dental work done, you'll be surprised how much it's gonna cost you an arm and leg in this country. Well, the representation of your smile. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I think dental pain is very bad. I think it's just too bad. When I had my root, before my root canal or my she retreat. She just undid everything we just did talking about dental. So you have to get that. In no, it's actually, you have to get that insurance because, you know, if you have Preventive. that insurance uh, for your dental, yeah, it's, it's you need to go get it checked. I've seen people coming in and crying is because they don't have dental insurance. They don't have money to pay yeah. and they're in pain. And the doctor yeah. says, I can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, that's that's some serious pain. I mean, that's yeah, I've experienced that once, and I just say thank God I had dental. But it is not fun. Exactly. So now uh, the most important point, because we have about three minutes left for uh, to end our show, the most important point is to get your contact details because they've got gotten all this information, but now's the time they need to pick up your phones and. Store this number on your phone, and here is the number to reach to our health insurance guru, Mr. LaQuinton Jenkins. So, the quite naturally, the office is closed today, but feel free to email and or text or join in our social and send information over. And don't forget simplechoiceib.com, www.simplechoiceib.com forward slash namaste. So, that's our rule. Everything we do on this, on this channel, we have it connected through uh, simplechoiceib dot com forward slash namaste the number uh is 
832-626-7791. That's 832-626-7791. And there are links all over the page for you to email me directly or to make a request about, you know, pretty much anything. So we, we specialize again in the individual health insurance, group insurance, uh, dental and Medicare. So if there's anything we can do to assist you, please don't feel free to either reach out via uh, Facebook, email, text. You know, we're on all the social media channels. So Absolutely. just whatever you feel most comfortable with, uh, we look forward to doing whatever we can to, to help you or just provide you with information. Right. So guys, you right. only have one more week left if you don't have health insurance. One more week left. So the number again is 832-626-7791 and the website is simplechoiceib.com slash namaste. And of course, the easiest way is to follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much, Mr. Jenkins, for taking our time and uh, coming on our show today and for providing that amazing wealth, wealth of knowledge. Um, guys. We want to thank you for coming back on Namaste Radio, hearing our show. Hope you enjoyed our show today. We will be back next Saturday at 10 a.m. Don't forget to follow Namaste Radio on Facebook and Instagram. We love your feedback. Please give us your feedback. If you like something good, don't forget to give us that feedback. And, and, and if you want to email us and uh, sponsor... The email is namaste radio 3 numeric3 at gmail.com. So, shall you want to say right. something? Uh, Mr. Jenkins, namaste. Thank you so much for coming on the show and enlightening our listeners with the wealth of knowledge that you have. And of course, uh, he's there to help you guys. So, give him a call. All I want to say is uh, parting, parting words. Haste rahiye, muskurate rahiye, jeevane khub surat sa sangeet us pesur sa jate rahiye. Be nice, be kind, and look out for each other, especially your neighbors. Till next week, adios. Mr. Jenkins, you want to say something before we go? I want to say exactly what it you said. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded good. So I'm saying exactly what it said. God bless you all, and I look forward to a happy and prosperous 2022. Thank you. Thank you so much. And always, like always, stay positive. Focus only on the positives of your life, positive of other people, uh, and stay happy. We will see you next Saturday. Till then, keep listening to Namaste Radio Houston.com or Listen to our apps and and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Namaste Radio. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm.